What's going on, guys? Today has been an interesting day. I was watching a lot of content, and I was watching a lot of these videos that are put up by these people who are using AI. And the relevant common sentiment, it's easy, it's simple. Anyone can do it, right? This this is the majority of the outcry. It's just simple, it's easy. And I started to think, simple, easy. The bottom is crowded. The bottom is crowded, but there's plenty of room in the middle and at the top to get rich. And in this video, I'm gonna to explain to you why, and I'm going to pull out some different insights for you to feast upon. Number one, I have seen videos that I personally from experience know that the content in the video is not real world experience. I personally know this. And then I started to see that these videos got a lot of views, a lot of views, right? And I, I sat down and I really think it's like, why are these videos getting so many views when the content in the video is not worthy of putting into practical use and then I thought I really thought there's a video here on YouTube that's talk about how to get in the cargo van business for 300 bucks and early on in that video before the videos got like tons and tons of views early on in the video people were leaving comments that this stuff in this video doesn't work so one of the things I think is the YouTube algorithm when the video gets a lot of views, YouTube algorithm pushes that video. The only thing that is relevant for the video, doesn't matter if the content of the video is true or applicable, doesn't matter. If that video is getting views, the YouTube algorithm is gonna keep pushing it and keep pushing it and keep pushing it. So that explains part of it. But this is the second part. And th this, this is something that I had to really, really think about uh, I had to really, really think about all of the stuff that you see with AI generated businesses is extremely limited. Now, I did find someone that used AI that created something that works. Now, I'll explain that a little later. But typically, easy, simple, Anyone can do it. Anyone can make money doing this. What's going to happen is when these videos come up, these marketplaces are not going to get crowded. They're going to get flooded. Right now, there's a lot of content on YouTube talking about selling digital art. And I got a story about that. Uh, years and years ago, I was dating this girl and she made a reference. She says, you're the only one I know that has art on the walls. Very, very poignant point because, you know, I love art. I have art on the walls around here and other places. And one of the things that I thought was, who's buying all this digital art? So there, you know, there's a limited number of buyers of digital art. But the digital art space is about to be flooded with digital art. It's just going to be flooded and with these anything that someone comes on YouTube and there was a guy uh, I have nothing against this guy and I'm not going to mention his name I'm just going to speak about it in a roundabout way he has a YouTube channel talking about publishing right and when I looked at his YouTube at an an analytics this dude's making like $30,000 a month for posting these videos. He is making way, 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 way more money posting a video about YouTube, how to do something, how to present something, than actually doing that thing. And I don't think this is a bad guy. I don't think he's a shark because, you know, he seems like a pretty normal, down-to-earth guy. 
but I, I really thought about that because one of the things I did is I went to his channel and I said let me put in the search word YouTube and let, let's see what we come up with and boom I found it and he went from making uh, 500 bucks when he first got monetized to 12,000 a month and this was a year ago so I would assume he's at about 20 20,000 because that's in the how to make money niche so uh, you know once again this is not a bad guy he's not putting up um, clickbaity stuff he's just talking about what he does and what he knows about and that's key what he knows about from a very true perspective but here's the thing how many people here read books please put that in the comments are you a reader of books are you reading books because this is one of the things that I see low content books journals coloring books they're flooded on Amazon they're flooded and digital arts gonna be flooded and anything that anyone who sounds halfway respectable on YouTube is gonna put up a video and that marketplace is gonna get flooded and flooded and flooded now here's the thing what marketplaces are getting flooded easy simple anyone can do it they're getting flooded and I have an idea that I'm not really going to share with you I'm going to share with my students because one of the things I have noticed is that if it's something you can use free tools free artwork free stuff from Canva to create a product that you can turn around and sell I've noticed that eight bucks a month is a, a, a tremendous expense for these people because I saw a video it's like you can use Leonardo I think that's Leonardo AI is a image producing site and it's gotten flooded because at one point it was free now it's flooded I'm on the wait list and you can use Leonardo and you don't have to pay eight dollars a month to have the commercial rights to sell your images and I was thinking eight dollars a month is a pause ninety six dollars a year is a pause and I, I really really begin to think I really really begin to think I said okay what do you know take what you know 80% of America makes less than forty thousand dollars a year and then when you started to really really get into it because most of these people are very young really really young and I would say as someone who's working like maybe DoorDash or working at McDonald's or working at Pizza Hut, $8 could be a significant expense. $8 could, you know, you're making 200 bucks a week, 800 bucks a month, $8? That, that could be an expense. And I, I really started to think about this. And this is why I say it is so crowded at the bottom. It's so crowded at the bottom so crowded at the bottom of people who are looking to create some type of income opportunity now here's where things get a little different if you're willing to spend a little money now when I say a little money I'm gonna say between five hundred and two thousand dollars if you're willing to spend that money that raises you to the middle and I'm gonna tell you the middle is way less crowded than the bottom because I really did some thinking. I was like, who is watching these videos? Number one, young people, kids, uh, income producing, income seeking, income opportunity seeking adults. These are the people who are watching these videos. And this is not to go from a racist or dem, but these people are in the bottom segment of America and I'm not talking about race or sexual orientation I'm talking about economic means these people are at the bottom they're at the bottom of America and they're trying to leave the bottom of America any way that they can which is honorable but I really really started to think I really really started to think and then I did find one guy who actually has used AI to generate it books and stuff and he's marketing these books using Pinterest and he left out how much money he's spending on ads it's just like I made this I made this 
and he left out expenses and all this other stuff. But let's go ahead and say, you know, after expenses, he's making 200K. And his plan works because here's the thing. I don't believe, and once again, I don't know if this is possible because I've never done it, but I don't believe that you can put a book that's 100% artificially written on Amazon. I think that's going to be a problem. Maybe if you're the first one to come up with that concept and title, you can get away with it. But as other people come up with similar concepts and titles and chat P, GP gives them the same information, they're going to get hit with plagiarism. So, you know, if you're the first person to put that book up, and I think that opportunity's gone. I really think that opportunity's gone. But, you know, this guy, he came up with what I consider a brilliant plan. 20 years old, put the books on this website called WAP, W-H-O-P.com. WAP is a relatively new website because I was looking at it. It's pretty interesting because I saw one of the, I, don't, I think he's a founder. I don't know if he's a founder or an employee, but he was doing a video with his bed, <laughs> his bed behind him in a very small bedroom, talking about how to play stuff and list stuff on WAP. And I was just sitting there like, this is interesting. And uh, you could take payments through credit card, debit, or you could take payments through cryptocurrency. So it's a very now hip site. It gets 2.1 million views a month. I think it's growing. So it is something that you can use to make money. And I'm thinking about using it because once again, this young man, 20 years old, his concept works. It works because he's not putting his digital books on Amazon. I don't think they're going to work on Amazon, but that got me to thinking. If you create a 100% digital book that's created by AI and you don't put it on Amazon and you have your own platform to sell that book, that's a game changer. That is a game changer. That, that is a big game changer because you don't have to worry about Google. You don't have to worry about Amazon. And I started to think, because like I said, this is something I'm not going to share publicly. I will share with my students. I have a concept of something I want to do. And I'm going to have to spend some money to get this done. But I, I, it, it, it's, it's more toward, it's past the middle. It's more toward the top. And once you start to get to a point where you're spending money, or you're at a point where you're not afraid to spend money, this is when you start to separate yourself from the masses, from the critical mass of that bottom. Because that bottom is kind of sticky. That bottom is, is really, really sticky in many regards. And um, I'm like, I'm opening myself up to allow myself to think of stuff. Like once again, AI is now, AI is the future. I 100% believe that. Now, one of the things I also believe is AI, even though a lot of people are using it, is not ready for prime time. I do believe in the future, you're gonna have an unlimited AI resource that's gonna be able to do a lot of stuff. And it's gonna be able to do a lot of stuff that people think AI does now. And um, one of the things that you have to understand because i'm about to say this at the moment you cannot use mid-journey chat gpt virtually any publicly recognized ai system to create explicit content or explicit artwork now if you didn't know guess what builds the internet porn porn the creation of these porn websites created so much of the internet they created video Porn, porn literally built the internet. So at some point, this is going to come out, it's going to be a relevant thing. At some point, someone's gonna create, I'm quite sure that some guy that's affiliated with the porn industry is working on it as we speak. Because that's gonna be a game changer. Because it's going to unleash the full power of AI. Because at the moment, what we're getting, we're limited we're being intentionally 
purposely limited. What we're getting is a limited version of the power of AI. And in the future, and I cannot say when this is gonna happen, may happen next year, may happen a few years down the road, but we're gonna have an unlimited, unsolicited, unfiltered, unbonded piece of AI that's gonna be able to do incredible things. It's going to be able to do a lot of things. But, you know, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty excited about AI because like this guy, you know, he's 20 years old and he's figured out a way to use AI to make a lot of money. He just started in October. So October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May. He made 200K in seven months. That's very respectable for anybody. And once again, when I find a use case like that, I bookmark it, I watch it again, and I pull out even more information because it works. If you can use AI to generate something that's not going to be on an Amazon, that's not going to be on Google as a blog, it's going to be on your own website, and you know how to direct traffic to your website, yeah, that's going to work. That's going to work, and you can make a lot of money. And here's the thing. The AI that he used to make $200,000 is just going to get better. It's just going to get better. The, the use case is going to become more explicit. It's going to be a better situation. It's going to be a better user generated experience. And it's going to help a lot of people leave that bottom. Because like I said, the bottom is the bottom is a zoo. The bottom is, this is where people are doing all kinds of stuff. This is where criminality happens. This is where the bottom is rough. The bottom is rough. But if you can elevate yourself, and once again, I'm saying spend $500 to $2,000 to put yourself in the middle, in the middle, or spend some more money and put yourself near the top, you're going to have way less competition because here's the thing that I'm seeing with the bottom. And social media is a great aid to this. You're gonna see someone that's gonna figure out something and it's gonna work and it's gonna make money. And then they're gonna go on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and they're gonna talk about it. And it's gonna be like trucking, you know? Like trucking, my, my issue, well, not, I don't have an issue with trucking. The reason that I think that trucking is suffering right now is not the loads there's just too many trucks why are there too many trucks because someone a few years ago came and said you know what man you get you a truck you get you a driver you get you some passive income that's why there's too many trucks that's why there's so many owner operators and that's because there's just too many trucks same thing with airbnb there's too many airbnbs so what's going to happen anything that gets hot right now there's a girl and her husband, I think that's her husband, who are running ads. And I'm starting to see their ads because this is how you know if someone's making money. If someone's running ads and you consistently see their ads for months after months after months after months, they are making money. And I'm starting to see this ad quite a bit because there are so many, you know, the real estate marketing department has convinced so many people that you can make so much money with real estate that aids in the pushing of real estate making products. But yeah, the bottom is crowded, man. The bottom is so crowded. And what you got to do is facilitate and work your situation to the point where you're no longer in the bottom. And this is something that we're getting ready to do. If you know, last month I created the money management course. This month I created the productivity course, which is finished. Haha, <laughs> it is finished. And um, the price of that is going to go up, but I've been thinking about my next product because, you know, I already got a list of stuff that's written out and I'm thinking, oh, I, I'm pretty sure what's going to be next. And I'm going to release that Sunday and I'm going to let people know and I'm going to situate it and I'm going to do some formatting. And the next product is going to be much longer than the productivity course. It's got to be because we're going to get into some 
there's some, you know, because I've been thinking about it because I just finished up the productivity course the other day and I've been thinking about the next course and what I'm going to do, the opening and all this other stuff. And the next course is going to be much, much longer than the uh, productivity course. It's going to be bigger. And I think this is going to take me about six weeks to do because the productivity course took me 10 days from start to finish. And the productivity course is something that I've done most of my life, so I knew what it was. And the next course, I gotta figure out a name, gotta work on that. But I already see, I already got the first 10 hours. Yes, it's going to be much longer than um, the productivity course because we're gonna get into some stuff. And I've been shaping it up and been thinking about it. And this is, this is something that is going to be needed and this is something that's going to help you leave the bottom and go more to the middle and go more to the upper end because that's where you got to be you cannot continue to wallow hang out be a part of the bottom you just can't you've got to elevate yourself you got to really work hard so that's this video is probably going to drop I'm going to drop, you know, I'm not going to give this video to my editor. I'm just going to put it up unedited because that way this video can drop tomorrow and I don't have to worry because if I give it to my editor, he'll get it tomorrow. He's off on the weekends and this video will come out Monday. And um, I don't know. I don't know. Let me decide. You know, you see this video with colorful graphics. My editor got it, and if you don't see this video with color graphics, I just uploaded it raw. So we will see. We will have to think about that because one of the things is you gotta leave that middle. You gotta leave that, you gotta leave that bottom. I'm sorry. You gotta leave the bottom, try to get to the middle, and try to get to the upper end of things that you're going to do to create your best and next life situation. So we got a lot of stuff that we're going to work on from now until de December. I, I say December, but once I get into creating the courses, they, they go much faster than, you know, I give myself a month to do them. This, this actually could be done by October, maybe, or even September. It just depends. But we're going to get into some critical training. We're going to get into a broader situation. We're going to get into a better mindset. And we're going to get into some critical stuff. We're going to get into some very critical stuff as we go down this path, as we go down this road, because you got to get away from that bottom. You got to leave that bottom because what I'm seeing is the bottom right now is getting some fantastic information. A lot of these YouTubers who are talking about ChatGP, ChatGPT, Midjourney, Novato, all these other apps, they've been doing stuff that actually works. But the problem is, once that category gets saturated and crowded, it's just not going to work the way it was working in the beginning. Um, that's one of the things I see. I really, really do. So, once again, um, in my mind, I'm kind of seeing what's going to happen. There's going to be some other stuff that is coming out and it's going to come out Sundays the 14th. The 13th is the final day for people to get into the productivity class before the price goes up. So we have some more stuff that is getting ready to pop off and the links and stuff will be below. No, they won't because this video, like I said, I'm not giving it to my editor. I'm just going to upload it raw and then you will see this Sunday. Sunday will be the day that you will know about the announcement of the new stuff that is coming out. And once again, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm doing a lot of thinking. I've been really, really thinking. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. So once again, let me know, are you in the bottom? Are you in the middle? Or are you towards the top? Where do you fit in this alignment? My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.